Hello, I'm Tarai Trot for BermudaWire.com and welcome to my review of the Cellular One 3G network. You know, mobile communication in Bermuda is very important. This fact is discernible every day no matter where you go on the island. Just about everyone has a cellular phone, from teenagers to those in their more senior years. Fifteen years ago, people would have thought you were crazy for predicting that mobile phones would soon replace landlines. It was revealed in a recent article on Bermuda Wired that primary telephone landline provider of the Bermuda Telephone Company Limited announced it would start slashing jobs starting with 25 people after realizing services it provided to 50,000 customers were no longer needed due to the mobile phone revolution. In addition, according to the Bermuda government's Ministry for Telecommunications, a stunning 94% of Bermuda households own a cell phone or mobile device, an increase of 55%. The information coming from the ministry's 2009 survey, titled The State of Information and Communication Technology in Bermuda, it covered 401 residents age 18 and older and revealed that 25% of residents had indicated they were likely to purchase a cell phone in the next six months. More than 54% of those interviewed said they used their phones every day to send and receive text messages. In Bermuda, there are currently three mobile phone providers, M3 Wireless, which was formerly BTC Mobility, Digicel, and Cellular One. Today I'm reviewing Cellular One's new 3G network. While Cellular One does not publicly share how many customers it has, it claims to account for one-third of the Bermuda cell phone market. Operating since 1999, the company is Bermudian-owned and operated and employs around 50 people with four retail outlets, two in Hamilton, one each in Somerset and St. George's. Its parent company is Bermuda Digital Communications Limited, with Bermudian Kurt Eve as their main shareholder. Cellular One's chief operating officer is Frank Amarell. Cellular One uses the latest form of mobile technology known as 3G, which is an international standard for wide area cellular networks that are replacing the 2G networks. In technical terms, the main advantage of 3G networks is use of a wider radio spectrum, resulting in faster data transmission for advanced multimedia services and a larger network capacity. In layman's terms, it equals faster internet connection speeds, the effortless ability to send and receive mobile phone pictures and video, and the highest quality voice connection. Like most mobile phone users in 2010, I own a BlackBerry, the BlackBerry Bowl 9000. During the past three months of using Cellular One, I noticed none of my calls were dropped. Emailing pictures from my phone has been a breeze. The company offers unlimited text messages for $7 per month with BlackBerry data plans starting at $8 per month. More importantly, no matter where I traveled on the island, I got a rock solid signal of five bars. It means I could make and receive calls and access my email anywhere in Bermuda. For me, my slogan is, it just has to work the first time. Also available on the network is push to talk walkie talkie service, wireless broadband internet ability and perhaps the best customer service team on the island and the option to roam in over 200 countries. The only downside I found was that the company's wireless internet service for laptops is not offered on an unlimited basis. The laptop plans start at $89 per month, but that's only for up to one gigabyte in bandwidth usage. Any additional use will cost you extra. Overall, Cellular One boasts to having the island's only 100% purpose-built 3G network, while claiming its competitors have used their networks as overlays for existing 2G services, which they say is used to accommodate older cell phones. Cellular One says that all of its phones are now purpose-built for 3G. I'm Tarai Trot, and thank you for watching.